Welcome back to KK Quilt Studio and a quick five minute tutorial on creating quilt labels in Art and Stitch. Now, I know it's busy, it's Christmas time, it's the month of December, and we've got lots of things to do, but don't forget to label your quilting creations, especially if you're giving them for gifts. So how do I create this label? Well, we're going to go into our libraries folders and I'm in the shapes folder and I grabbed the frame one and I will come back also and grab this star and the Christmas tree. So I have two frames here, the star and the Christmas tree. If I click on the first out red outline, you'll see that I changed my pen width to 4.0, I wanted a nice thick bold line, click apply. Right now the design is a little over six inches wide. I duplicated the design to get the green outline, changed my pen width to 1.0 and changed my color to green. To get the lettering that you see here, I use the true type font artwork and um, you will have if you click on the select tool it'll bring up all the fonts that are available in your computer what the list you see here on my computer is going to be different than what you have and I wanted something oh fun and scripty so I use the French script and then go ahead and click OK and then here you would type in your text. Now note you can only do one line of text at a time so this first one would be type in Merry Christmas and the date and um, enter that right here and then click OK. And you do that for each line that you see here. Bring in your tree, change the color to however you want it to look and you're ready to save your file, give it a name, save it as an Art and Stitch working file, and then go ahead and export your artwork as an FCM file. After I got the label into my machine um, and I drew this out, I used permanent markers on EQ uh, fabric pages that you would normally put into your printer. I used them in my scan and cut and um, I used permanent markers in my universal pen holder to draw out this label and then I did I scanned it back in and did an outline uh, boundary and used that for my cut file so then I cut out my label and voila there you have it didn't take you any time so I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and don't forget I'll have more throughout the month of December so enjoy. I wish you happy holidays and happy quilting.